the art of allure. Now this is a topic that is critical to both men and women. First of all, because every woman wants to be the embodiment of living magnetism, and secondly, because every man wants to be a key component in a woman embodying that magnetic force. Now the first place a woman starts to train her art of allure is in adornments, and this of course is clothing. The lesson she needs to learn right off the bat is that the allure is not in the clothing. The clothing is the means to express her own unique form of allure, and as she matures in her ability to utilize clothing effectively, she will take into account cultural trends, but she'll create her own form of adornment, her own style of clothing, in order to express her unique form of allure. This then leads to her moving into body language and mastering this very refined art form. Now, body language is very mysterious to us because it's communication between human bodies, but not between the soul. So you're not included in the body language that your body is expressing out. And women have a distinct advantage over men in this regard because women trust their body to communicate effectively without her direct involvement. Men on the other hand want to be involved in every single little facet of communication that leaves his body which then makes him very ineffective in his body's attempt to have language, this body language expression, to those around him. So as the woman cultivates her, her skill in adornments and body language, she then is ready to move to the final, most powerful, and most dangerous component of allure, and that is magnetism. This is becoming a force, not a concept, but a living force that pulls with a magnetic force upon everything around the woman. And she wants to bring all life into an orbit around her. She is the center, as the summation of all creation, and she wants to bring everything into a beneficial orbit around her. However, her talent is only in the realm of pull. And if you just pull everything towards you, it's just going to slam right into you. And women know this, which is why it's so rare for a woman to get this far in the art of allure. You also need a man to push out. You can't just pull everything towards you because again, it will just slam into you. So you need a masculine force next to you as a woman who will push out and allow things to find their natural orbit. If there's something you don't want orbiting you in your universe of life, of family and friends, then the man's job is to expel it, to use his push and propel it out of the radius of the woman's pull. So in building this art, the woman moves systematically from adornments to body language and finally to becoming this magnetic force that brings her world into an orbit around her. So what can we then conclude about the art of allure? Well, an alluring woman pulls all creation into a single glorious whole.